We're getting into possibly the final map. Dodger is two maps up against Mirio. We're on Fuse. Here we go. We're going to start out yet again on Mirio. He's going to get the rocket launcher and take a little bit of damage from dropping into that. And now chase down Dodger. Going to try and get the early control. We saw in the first game on Blood Run. He was able to get the early control. He was able to take a bit more off of Dodger and start up to the five minute mark. Sort of taking the game. Looking like he was actually going to be able to win it. And then we got past that five minute mark. Dodger got in. And managed to do all the damage. And then Dodger just didn't let him have the beginning on the second map. Mirio. He's pushing to make some more damage onto Dodger, but not managing to quite land anything. This map is going to be difficult for both of them to control it. It's an interesting map that both focuses on extreme control and extreme lack of control. At the same time, somehow. So you have to get both of the items to really have control over the map. But even then, you don't have super item control. Dodger does a good amount of damage. Gets the first frag. And that could be it for Mirio. If Dodger can get rolling right now. Like he was able to in the last one. There's the second. And Dodger going for extreme turns to be able to get these rockets curved round. Now we're looking at a good place for Dodger to be in. He's got a lot of got a lot of stack. We're going to switch over to Mirio just to see what he's putting up in this position. He's able to get Dodger extremely low. He knows he's got Dodger low because he's got Dodger on the run and now will he be able to capitalize off of this look at the push with the krylik he's pushing so fast in dodger comes around to try and slap him but mirio is going to be able to get it two to two the score line right now that was the perfect time to be spectating mirio thank you for the call there drainer beautiful flick there and the triple kill onto dodger Dodger's going to finish with the shotgun though. Mirio was ext left extremely low after that last fight, but they're still even. Mirio's got a bit of a stack up over on the other side of the map as Dodger pulls his stack in. Both of them dying and Mirio managing to... Uh, oh, Dodger managing to get the kill with the shotgun. Put them both on the same footing realistically after that. Dodger seems to have timing on the items though on both ends of the map. So that puts him into an extremely profitable position. Being able to always know uh, if Mirio has actually got the item. So if Mirio respawns, he's going to automatically know the item's up. So Mirio could have got the item I've got to play as if Mirio has 50 armor. Or the item's not up. I can play as if Mirio doesn't have the armor. He's definitely not got the armor. Now Dodge has missed that one. He doesn't have the item timing exact. He's just got it kind of roughly. I assume Mirio is going to be bombing down there. He does a good amount of damage. Dodger's still ducking out the way of that. Uh... Here's it. Here's the item be taken. He's like, what? You could see it in the flick back. He heard the item. He's like, Mirio's still there, but also, what? The item? Mirio has got that. Mega. But yeah, these are good games. Mirio is definitely pushing Dodger. On Graphite, not so much. But still definitely forced Dodger to play a much better uh, a much better style. 
forced him to take full control of the map rather than just running it round. Now Mirio could get the kill here. Dodger extremely low. If he hadn't have picked up that armour, he would have almost certainly gone down right there. We've got five minutes left. So this could all be flipped on its head. Mirio's going to be pushing in. He's got the stack to take Dodger out. Nine health Dodger has. Misses that bubble. Grabs that one and he's got the regenerating health. Mirio now knows where he is. He's able to pick up the item. Dodger misses the rail. This is where we are now. Dodger clearly a bit pressured. 15 seconds until any of the armors come up. You can see Dodger now a bit pressured. Mirio probably be able to see him when he jumped over there. Wouldn't have wanted to go in for the fight just yet. Just trying to stack it up. Now the item's up. And Dodger's going to try and get... He doesn't land any shots. He tries to get the jump on Mirio and do a load of damage. But he doesn't quite connect any. Gets a little bit of exit just there with the rail. And he's going to turn away just the second Mirio pops around the corner. He sees Mirio there. Running away now. He's trying to just get away. He doesn't want to take a direct fight with Mirio. He has lost a couple of direct fights with Mirio recently. He's trying to get Mirio down below the amount. And Mirio has managed to pick up a frag. Mirio is playing this much faster than he was before. The other two maps, his mistake seems to have been not playing fast enough. When he was in control on Blood Run, he just wasn't able to get the score. He was in control for five minutes and could only, and it only took 50 seconds for Dodger to bring the control back. Well, after getting control to bring the score back. So Dodger playing incredibly fast, but Mirio managing to play very fast too. It's definitely going a good way this map. It's pushing for Dodger to play better, which is something we definitely want with more players right now. We're loosening the skill gap. We're getting more people back into the game. We're getting more new people into the game. So it's definitely getting better. So you too can come and challenge Dodger. Might take you a while, but you too can come and do it. Dodger. Smacking up Mirio. Gets the rage. Five kills in a row. And Mirio votes to end the match. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, and those who know better. We have Dodger versus Mirio. Dodger going to take the grand finals. Thank you for watching.